Hi, it's, uh, it's actually a Friday and normally this lady is helping us to move dozens of people in to, to many of the properties that we sell and her name is Claire Laws and Claire is the owner of King Laws Legal. One of the owners, One yeah. Of the owners. Yeah, co co-owner or partner. Um, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant guys. Um, we've worked well, we first started Gigs & Co coming up to eight years in a week. And we'd met probably just before that. That's right, yeah. Back in Y Boston. Back in Y Boston. And um, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Now, if you remember, crikey, I met Helen first. You did, yeah. Helen's the partner in the business. And you both completely on the front line am i right in saying that in terms of what you do in the conveyancing part of the, the business yeah i mean we we have support staff obviously that assist us um but we are the ones dealing with the clients on a daily basis and yeah very much involved and when we met it was really important that we worked with other people that had their own businesses as such and that they cared about the customers and the clients just as much and i've worked in agency for 25 years and um you know i can only tell you that claire is the best that i've ever come across in in 25 years in terms of looking after customers great communication and i think for me where people get stuck in our uh, industry or in our process is the, the legalities and the jargon that can be thrown at you and it helps to have someone that can just tell you how it is, black and white, straightforward, lame. Yeah. We try and keep it as simple as possible, obviously doing the job that we need to do. Yeah. Um, obviously clients aren't always as up to speed with, with what the, the jargon is. So we, yeah, we try and simplify it for them. Absolutely. And you're local as well. How long have you lived in this area for? I've lived here since about two. So wow. I'm not gonna tell you how long that is. Only a, few years ago, only a few years ago. Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> Look, let's not lie. I'd said we'd normally be completions central on a day like Friday in at the end of April, you know, it's probably right. one of the busiest months of our calendar. Weekends, yeah, I mean, it's it, it's crazy. Though. We, we've still managed to move people. We've had 29 transactions complete this month since we heard about the lockdown. Flipping it. And, only a fraction of which had already exchanged before the lockdown provisions came into place. So, hang on a minute, that goes against what the Guardian and the Daily Mail and all these guys have been saying. Surely that's you, you must be lying. You must be lying. Yeah. The, 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 everyone's locked down and there's no movement in the market. The housing market's on pause, it's going to crash. Isn't no, that, it's, I mean, happen. it's if the clients want to do it, then you know, we need to to find a way to adapt and make it happen for them if it can be, be possible for them to move safely. So what we've, we've found, uh, we've managed to get a lot of um, transactions through where there's been empty properties, for instance. Um, also, we've, we've had some chains go through, where clients have moved themselves, so normally where they might have got a removal company on board and they, you know, a lot of shut or whatever, they've got their own vans, they've moved themselves everybody's adapted if they wanted to move you know and they've been able to move then we've, we've tried to make it happen for them i mean talk about adapting have you been really impressed with how people have adapted oh absolutely yeah um, everybody's been incredibly patient we've had to adapt they've adapted um you know first of all we thought oh god what's going to happen because we didn't know how the banks were going to be operating which is obviously a key part for us because we've got to make sure we can send the monies See, they're all operating as normal. Um, the other challenge is, you know, things like searches that were the council still going to be working. Initially, they've closed. A lot are now reopening um, and back up and running. Um, searches are coming back. And, um, you know, the physical move, if it can be done safely, we can still, still get people moved into the houses that they want, wanted to get into. Um, People that are sort of earlier on in the transactions where, you know, they're not quite at that stage of moving yet, we, we can still move the legal work on as best we can for them. Um, you know, as I say, search, searches can still be done. All the legal paperwork can be prepared, wow. sent out. We can liaise with 
other solicitors who all of which are still open um would you say at the moment everyone's kind of working together i, I get a sense that, yeah. do you know what i mean it feels like the less the least volatile environment compared to usual you know because when there's a lot of pressure and chains and completion dates and everything else it feels to me like everyone's kind of like well you know let's just try and make it work everyone's pulling together we're all in it together you know other solicitors initially you know we're looking for each other for advice and you know are you still going to be operating how are you going to be working are you going to do exchanges um and we've all worked and adapted together you know in the best interest of the clients really um to, to make make things happen and keep things moving so when restrictions are lifted as well there's going to be a lot of people who are in a much better position where they've moved forward in their transactions and they should be ready to to go and agree completion dates the ones that haven't been able to move for whatever reason during the lockdown i think so and i think it's fair to say that at the moment that from what I can see, that there is support for the housing market at the moment as well. Yeah. And Have you felt that? Yeah, definitely. And I think, um, I, I know you were speaking to Paul at Short Mortgages yesterday, is, as you were saying there, like interest rates on mortgages are fantastic at the moment. Um, and I mean, I know people are going to be cautious because of jobs and things like that, but there's, there's still a huge amount of people who are massively motivated to move need to move for whatever reason want to move and you know there's ways that it can can happen definitely and we've, we've we've found by keeping people in our business over the last four or five weeks rather than just furloughing everybody yeah. we've been incredibly fortunate to to work really hard and find 10 buyers for 10 different properties that we've sold and you know at the start of the month claire i was thinking we won't sell a house in april i know yeah it was we, a had, we, had, we were talking three or four weeks ago, quite honestly, I mean, your face changed just then. We were both super like, kind of, we've had our own businesses for a long, long time. And you, yeah. don't get me wrong, it's a challenge, but together we're going to get through this. And I, I've been mega impressed by what you've done. And the guys in our team have been so kind of like made up by the effort that you and Helen are making at the moment around helping your customers and just communicate it's communication definitely well, same same for you guys i mean this morning for instance i, I was ch trying to chase one where i've got a client who's been trying to sell a house for quite some time and you know for whatever reason things have, have happened and we're so almost nearly there on this particular one and, and this particular chain the lady is struggling to get a witness for her documents yeah because of lockdown so i emailed your guys and said that any chance anyone can help yeah you know in in a safe way so that yeah. there's ways around it where you know you Brilliant. guys might go out to someone and sort of look at them through a window watch them signing the documents yeah. and then witness it for them and then they can take them away and and that's the thing people are just sort of pulling together to try and get around these little problems we've never been faced with before no and do you feel that there's a I don't know how you feel. We're probably at the sharper end of that with regards to it feels like there's a lot of people like a, a bulging of kind of like people that are thinking, well, I want to kind of get out there. We, we've actually now got a list of people that want to view properties yeah. as of when this restriction lifts. We've now got a, a, a list of customers and clients, really fantastic people that have asked us to just go live when we give them the say so or they give us the say so in the next hopefully a few weeks you never know um it feels quite optimistic well i think uh, we've had chats around this but i mean everybody's got a lot of time on their hands at the moment yes so what i would say people that are at that early stage of transactions it would be a great time to start thinking about you know getting getting property perhaps put it on market so that you've got people looking at it on right move. Um, if you are going to put property on the market, it would be worthwhile sort of getting solicitors forms prepared. Yeah, that's what we've been so you, recommending. You know, you're getting prepared, getting paperwork together. You know, if you've got any bits that you've done on the house where you've, you know, done improvements, you need to get certificates together, get all your paperwork in order. And then once all the restrictions are lifted, you're going to be in such a better position 
um, whereby you can sort of get cracking and get get legal side of things moving. Potentially, we might not lose that much time overall no, if no, you do those things. Because um, yeah. you probably will. It will take you a little while to to get you know your forms completed, your paperwork together, and yeah, the fact the fact that you can't get a buyer in to sort of view the property now is going to save you that time later on yeah. when you're going to waste it down the line Definitely. Um, totally forms and things. i've been really impressed with by how the, everyone's adapting at the moment and, and the positive messages that we're able to send out by doing just videos like this and actually speaking to real people doing a real job in an industry that is supposedly on lockdown and pause yeah isn't it frustrating that they just want to continually talk down the market this is the i was talking to somebody this morning i was on a nice long walk and i was just venting a little bit that doesn't sound like you no but for once and i, and I know i think they've stopped asking these questions at the end of each day when the politicians come on they do their their bit and they've got the 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 army and you've got the scientists and everything else and they're just doing their best i don't think any of them are trying to hold up process right and then you get the journalists. Oh, the press. They're, they're just all working trying to catch people out, aren't they, at the moment? And putting a really negative line, spin on everything. Yeah. I think they've missed the mark with our country, the press. I think they've really got it wrong. I think they've really misjudged the situation. Because what you see in communities at the moment is everyone's working together. In industries, estate agents working together. Solicitors working together. Mortgage companies trying. Surveyors buyers, sellers, everyone's making this happen. The only people in our country at the moment that want to grind our economy to a halt are our journalists. Yeah. There you go. Have that one on me. And do you know why? It's because they wouldn't have a job. Fear sells better than anything else. And it's really sad. Really yeah. sad. But that's the way it is, folks. You're listening to a real person that owns their own successful business, inconveniencing, local use local businesses if you can um fantastic job claire is there any other advice you want to give sorry about my brand i think no i think that's it i mean if you want to move and you need to move then there's ways around it don't hold back um you know don't be scared by what you see in the press you know it's like i say that there's if you want to then we can do it um yeah Definitely. Well, there's a quote, and I dug it up just now. It's not the strongest of species that survive, nor the most intelligent, but the ones most responsive to change. And I think exactly, yeah. that's what we're all doing. And congratulations to you. And thank you for just giving me 10 minutes of your time today. No, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Take oh, care. How do people get in touch with you, Claire, directly, just in case they need you? Have you got an email or anything like that? Yeah, so office number is local number 01480 225540 and the email is inquiries at kinglaws k-i-n-g and laws is with an e l-a-w-e-s dot co dot uk fantastic thank you again for what you've just shared with us thanks claire no thank you take care bye-bye